Hey guys, today we will be comparing three Risk games, the differences and the similarities. So let's get started and hope you enjoy the vid. Okay, to start we have Risk Godstorm and we have Risk Europe and the original Risk game. So let's get going. The dice. Okay, the dice. So for Risk Europe here, the dice die is small, red, and it's the same color for the enemy and the um, offender and defender. And so for the original, the defender is the white and the red is the defender. Yeah, I forgot. Anyway, and they're quite a lot larger than the other one, the Europe. And Godstorm, the black, is for the offender, and the other one's for the defender. And they're about the same size as the Risk um, original. And they're all just normal six-sided dice. Okay, so with the Godstorm Risk, there is the three kinds of characters. There is uh, five teams, different colors, different sort of countries, I guess. There is the footman, the sort of elephant, and there's the gods, and each sort of team has those. The gods look different and all, but they're all about the same. And they're like the largest, like, um, little guys, sort of characters, out of all of the others. So let's go see what they look like. Okay, so for Risk Europe, we have one, two, three, four teams, four colors. Each one is a different sort of country, I don't know which. And they have uh, their siege weapon, the catapulting there, their cavalry, an archer, and a footman. You can't see it very well, but they each sort of team has a different looking one, unlike the other Risks that are all sort of normal, except for the Gods and Godstorm. But these all have unique men for each sort of group which is i thought was pretty cool there okay for original risk we have one two three four five six teams so the most teams there they have pretty like dynamic characters all the characters look exactly the same except for colors and there is here let me pull some out quick there is a footman which is just a little character there we have um a cavalry and a cannon guy and there like i said there's the six colors and so yeah there's the cavalry footman and cannon i'm pretty sure the can cannon is worth 10 so that's pretty cool okay here are the buildings as you see there's only two and that's because the original does not have any buildings so we have a little castles for Europe, which you have to have the siege weapon to knock down. And there for the Godstorm are the temples, which allow you to summon gods and get more of the sort of faith tokens and stuff in the game. But like I said, the original does not have any buildings at all. Okay, so what's the point of risk? Well, it's a game, it's fun. But it's also about world domination, and what a lot of people don't know is that there is like totally different ways for the different risks of world domination. In the original, you knock out the opponents or you take over the most continents, you win, depending on what you do, the quick version. But with the um, other versions, it's different. With Godstorm, it's like you have all of your gods, or if you break down your army, and it's really different with the Risk Europe. It's where you control all the crowns, you do not need, here's the sort of crown chart, you get all the crowns and that's how you win. There's not like a world domination, you don't have to do it, it's pretty much you get down far enough, you win with those little token thingies there. And yeah, so that's sort of different from the rest, but still fun. Okay, the map or the board sort of size here is here's the Godstorm, and it's about the same size as Risk Europe, maybe a little smaller. And the sorry, shaky. 
but the original there is about half the size of the wrist gear if it's covering about half of it you pull that way and the wrist gear up which I've been using as sort of background there is definitely the oh yeah I almost forgot here is another part of the uh, god storm there's like the sort of underworld and here's Atlantis and Atlantis Atlantis sorry so yeah there's uh, other sort of separate pieces with the god storm as well Okay, something that all Risk games have in common is that there is cards you can use in Risk Gear, but you can tax and spend, or there's other cards where you can fight, or fortify, or position, or... But in the Risk God Storm, there's like special ability moves, where if you summon enough gods, you get the different ability tokens. But like over here in the original, there's like you get more guys if you collect enough cards, which you get every turn if you taken over a territory. So that's all of the cards here. Let us slide over. Okay, and here's all of, like the currency. So the original one has no currency. Godstorm has the one token and then five they're called faith tokens, I believe. And over here there's the gold one means five and the silver one means one and Okay, ah! all of the fighting and stuff here. So what I'm going over very quickly right now is like the sort of a drop just about the Europe. And the Europe game is quite different because usually you go attack, you have more, you win. And you can't read this because it's a bit blurry, it doesn't like to focus. But there's the different attacks. The archers can only like get a really low number or really high, they can't get a middle number. It's a lot more complicated with the risk here up there with your fighting and taking a turn and all. But overall, it's just sort of basic. We'll go over more of that in taking a turn. Okay, I'm taking a turn with the Europe here. We're going to go through the each one and say I've got more. I've got this card. I can expand, maneuver. So I'm going to go over some of that. So I've got one of these I can do, tax expand. There's the cards uh, available for my color. I can move the cavalry to attack. I can uh, maneuver over to here, come back, and that's Paris, France, where I would get a sort of card. So I'm going to uh, move that over. I would get a crown there, so I can move up on the crown chart. And then I would get a crown right there. That's what the crowns look like. There's a little crown you set there. So then the other guys, well, they would have their turn. But that's the basic on how you do a turn in Risk Europe. Okay, it's a bit more complicated with the Risk Godstorm here. Let me move my camera. And I'm going to read off the things here. Sort of parts of a turn. I'm going to raise and gather armies. I'm going to summon gods and build temples. Uh, yeah, you can't read that. But I'm going to suffer plague. I'm going to get play miracle cards, get miracle cards. Invade territories, fortify positions, embark from heaven, you know, and here, that's pretty much all I'm going to show there, but you can, like, move, attack, do all sorts of things, but, so the turn is a lot longer there. Okay, so in the original risk there, there's two cannons with the red, and there's just a cavalry and a cannon over here. So, um, what we're going to do here is you can attack... You can sort of spread out. Usually you'd already have everything covered, but say I want to go across the bridge, I could go across, attack there. We would have a very long fight, dangerous and all that. And I can also sort of maneuver. I can fortify a position depending. I can maneuver. Let's see. Okay, the timeline or what time they're from and Risk Europe is obviously sort of medieval times. It's got the sort of knight with the crown, he's got a scroll, and it's apparently a, and a premium risk game with advanced rules. But um, over here we have sort of a, I really don't know, Revolutionary War maybe, World War, War I really have no idea. Risk of Godstorm is sort of Roman Empire sort of time there. 
It's obviously got the gods fighting up there, which is mythology, but that's all that. Okay, the amount of players for um, Godstorm it's two to five, for original it's two to six, and for the Europe it is two to four, and the ages is ten and up for original and Godstorm, and fourteen and up for the Europe. So we're done now. So uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time on Ruben Time.